Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Yesterday, Ubiquity released Unify Connect to the public. This has been sitting in EA for about eight months now, and they first released it in one of their YouTube channels, and they went over a bunch of different devices. So far, the only device that we can purchase is the display cast, but you can see that we have a screen and a couple of the arm mounts. So I bought a couple of their screens in EA, but unfortunately they had a hardware revision and changed something on them, so I can't show those displays, but I do believe Ubiquity is sending me some to do a video on. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the display cast and how it works. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit MacTelecomNetworks.com. And we do have a Discord channel if you wanna to talk to other community members. First, let's talk about the Unify Connect application. This is where we're gonna be doing all of our adoption for our devices, as well as all of the configurations and putting in the digital signage settings. You'd see in the release notes that Ubiquity says it's an enterprise of things and we could do scheduling in groups. And we'll also be able to add LED panels and they did show a thermostat in one of their other videos and we could control all our lights with the display screens. I really hope that does come out because it looks awesome. To be able to run a Unify Connect application, we need to have a Dream Machine Pro at 1.12.33 or higher and then the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus Dream Machine Special Edition, the UDR and the UDW need to be at 3.0.13 or newer. Let's install Unify Connect on my Dream Machine SE and then we'll take a closer look at the display cast and what comes in the box. We'll go over to my Dream Machine SE. You can see all the applications that I currently have running and then we have Connect that is still saying EA, but this is released to the general public. So I'm gonna press install now. And this will take a few minutes for it to install. So while that's installing, let's go take a closer look at the display cast. And this is the box for the display cast. We can see the display cast right on top and it's wrapped by this little piece of plastic. Let's get that taken off. You may be able to see that there, there's the Ubiquity logo right on the front of the display cast. On the top of the display cast, we have our PoE in, and if you're not powering it by PoE, you could use USB-C, and then we also have a reset button. And on the other side, we have our HDMI out. In the box, it gives us a quick start guide, and then underneath, it will give us all of our mounting options. It comes with a fairly short HDMI cable, I think it's about two feet, and then we have our mount. So this mount does have a sticky pad on the back that we could rip off if we want to stick it to the back of a TV, which is very nice. It also comes with some other mounting options if we're going to be putting it into drywall and then our small little USB-C power adapter. So let's get that out of the box. And that's all that comes with the display cast. So let's get back to the computer and get one of these adopted into the controller. Now that we've taken a closer look at the display cast, let's get one set up. I do have two of them, so I'm going to just leave one here plugged into the network, we'll get it all set up, then we'll bring another one down to my basement and we'll plug it into my TV and see how it looks. To get started, we need to set up Unify Connect. So we'll click on the setup button and it says Unify Connect, no connect devices detected. I do have one plugged in, so we're just gonna do a setup anyways. We're gonna agree to the end user license and then we'll press next. We can see that a display cast did show up. I'll just call this office. And we're not going to have any groups selected currently and we'll press adopt. We can now see that there's a yellow icon beside the display cast and that means it's adopting into our network and you could also tell by the status. And the display cast is now adopted into our Unify Connect controller. We could see the name is Office, the status is online, the model is the display cast and it's not a part of any groups yet. We will create a group called Mac Telecom Networks or something like that. The mode is digital signage default landscape, and I believe you can do this in portrait mode if you'd like. If we click on the display cast, we could turn it on or off, and we could also see the playlist that's currently assigned to it. The playlist is just the default Ubiquity playlist that they've added into Connect. We could also turn the volume settings up or down if we'd like. And then it gives us all the general information, the name, model, status, uptime, device, connection type, which is Ethernet, MAC address, and then the IP address. If we go under settings, we could change the name of the device. We could create a group for it, and then we have our modes. Under the mode, the only display mode is digital signage. A lot of people were hoping that we were gonna be able to view our Unify Protect cameras with this device, but we can't. You can do it on the Unify Connect displays. I was thinking that this was gonna take over from the viewport, as we haven't seen that in stock for probably over a year. So if we do hit the drop down menu, it is just digital signage. Maybe they'll add that in a future firmware update. 
And here we could assign and unassign a playlist. And then under manage, it's all the normal things. Locate device, restart, update device, or then forget device. Now let's look at the settings and then adding our own video to the display cast. So if we go over to the settings wheel on the left-hand side, we could see that we have our playlist and then we have media. We could also do scheduling for when we want these displays to go off. So you could schedule it at any time or any day that you'd like. Under system settings, it gives us the ability to change the theme from light to dark. I'm going to change mine to dark. And then we have our recovery code. We have backup and restore. Now going back to our playlist, if we click on media and then go to upload media, it will tell us the supported file formats. For video, we could do MP4. For audio, we could do M4A and MP3. And for image, we could do JPEG. And then we could do PNG. So I'm going to upload some media and I have this Unify Connect preview that I just took a couple clips from a job site I was on and we're going to click on it and then open. The media has now uploaded. We can see the name is Unify Connect preview. We can see the type is video, the size and then the length. And we can see that it's not currently playing under any playlist. I'm going to add one more piece of media and it will be a JPEG that I took off of the internet and it's just of a floor plan. So we'll upload the media. As you can tell, the floor plan has now been added and you could add pretty much anything that you like. So now let's go over to playlist. We're going to create a new playlist. We click add slides and I'm just going to put the Unify Connect preview, which is me just doing a little bit of work and press add. We could see a thumbnail of the preview and we could turn the audio on or off. I'm going to turn the audio on and then we're going to press create. Now I plugged in the second display cast. We'll take it down to the basement in a minute, but we'll click back up on devices. And here you can see new device available to adopt. And we could also see it down here. We're going to click to adopt. Now the second display cast has been adopted into Unify Connect. Let's click on that and we're going to create a new group. So we'll go over to settings. We're going to create group. I'm going to call this group to be Mac Telecom Networks. And then we're going to add both of my devices into it. And then we'll press create. So this does make for easier organization if you're going to be doing different signage for different devices. Now, if we look back at the top left corner, we could see view by all devices or groups. I'm going to click on groups. We could see that we have my Mac telecom network group and there's two devices in it and they're all online. If we click on the group, we could add an image and then we could do all our control for any device that's in this group. So we could power them on or off or we could turn the volume up or down or we could change the display mode, but for these, they only have the digital signage. We click on devices and we could add or remove a device from this group and then we could click on settings. Settings gives us our group name and then we could create a scene or we could do manage. For this group, I want it to display that upload of me doing work. So we'll go back to the settings and then we're going to assign it to a playlist. This playlist is going to be new playlist 001. That's the one I created and we're going to assign it. And now we can see the thumbnail has updated and it's me doing work. So let's go take the basement one downstairs to my TV, get it plugged in and then see how it looks. Okay, now we're down in my basement and I do have the Kinect display attached to the back of my TV and I'll show you a picture here. I have just a cable running back to my rack. My basement isn't finished yet, so it was a very easy installation. But as you can tell, what's displaying right now on screen is the Ubiquiti default Kinect display for their digital signage. So this may be hard to see, but this is the Unify Connect iOS app and we could change which playlist we use. Right now we're just on the default, but I could click that and change to my playlist that I assigned. And once we assign it, it will switch and we can turn the volume up and down and I'll show you because I do have music playing on mine. So as you can tell, that switched very quickly and it's going to our new display. I'll let you listen to the music for a sec. And now off of the app, I'm going to change the music and turn it down. So now you could barely hear it. I could turn it up to full blast. And the app is very responsive. So that's going to be it for this video on the display cast. And I really like it. It was super easy to set up. There isn't a ton of options in Connect right now, but hopefully they add more in the future. Some things that I would like to see for the display cast is the ability to use protect on it. If the Unify viewports aren't going to be available, we need something so we could cast or protect cameras. Another feature I wish they would have added to the display cast is Wi-Fi. If we can't run a physical wire, at least we could power it up and then we could cast back with our Wi-Fi network. Another thing, I don't know if $199 is a lot of money for the display cast. I don't do any digital signage as of now, so leave in the comment if you think that's too pricey or if it's relatively cost effective. 
you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.